This is a group frequency table showing the height in meters of 20 trees. We are supposed to estimate the mean from the group frequency table. Now let's go back to the note that I, I told you to, to be mindful of previously. Here, remember we said in group frequency table, you need your midpoints, and the midpoints will become your x values. So we need to always calculate the midpoints when we have group frequency, and we are supposed to estimate the, uh, the mean. So let's go back to the question. So to work out the midpoints, we need to add the two values and divide by two. Two values divide by two. So we need our midpoints before we make our f times x. To create a midpoint, remember if you're using a calculator, put the two numbers in bracket before you divide by two, else it will do both maths and it will give you the wrong answer. So make sure you are using the calculator, you add the two numbers, then in bracket before you divide by two. If you're not using a scientific calculator, add the two numbers, press equal sign first before you say divide by two. So our first one is 1.75. We do for all the rows, so this is our midpoint, and they become our x. To find fx, we multiply each midpoint by its corresponding frequency. Work each of them one by one. So next is to calculate the totals of the frequencies, the total of what the f of x. So total 54.5 for f of x, our frequency is already 20. So we, as we given to us here as well, to so we estimate the mean, we divide the total of fx by the total of f, and our answer is 2.73 meters correct to two decimal places. Remember, this is an estimate, simply because we never knew the original values of each class, so we just assumed the midpoint. That's why the question they didn't say calculate the mean, but it says what estimate the mean. So the moment you hear estimate mean, start calculating your midpoints. Now let's look at how to identify the median and modal class from frequency group table. 